Hello and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be sharing some cold weather outfits. I was just having a little bit of a play around in my closet. I sometimes do this and I was just feeling really inspired to pull out my knitwear. So I thought this would be a great little video to um, put together for those of you who are in the Northern Hemisphere and are currently experiencing much colder temperatures than we have here. So I'm just going to film everything in the mirror, very sort of similar to how I would my weekend outfits and talk you through each look starting with what i'm wearing now i am just also going to wear the same jewelry throughout because um, i'm not really in the mood to change it so i'm wearing ebon eye hoops i wear these a lot because i really like the size the snake chain which is from majuri and then i also have on my favorite little a chain bracelet from Monica Vinader as well. So here's a look at outfit number one before I put on a coat because as I'm sure you know, layering is crucial in the colder months. So I'm gonna pan back so you can see the full look and then I'll come up close. So I'm wearing all black. I do love monochrome and I love black in the winter time. The knit that I'm wearing is a really lovely merino knit. It has these gorgeous little buttons here. Um, and I really just like this as a great basic, which feels elevated just because of this detail and also the fact that it is a bit of a mock neck as well. The jeans are one of my favorites at the moment because I'm really, really into this straight leg silhouette and I especially love that sort of a cut in the colder months because I think they work really well with boots. So you can kind of see that I've worn them there with a really chunky boot and it works quite nicely because the shaft of the boot is quite slim. So it kind of hugs my ankle ankle um, and the boots that I'm wearing these are ones I've shared loads they're the black leather ones with the ribbed sock detail so that is the vibe and then we'll just pop on my coat and also a bag Okay, so now I've got the coat on, it's probably immediately apparent why I kept my base layers so minimal. It's because for this outfit, the coat is definitely the standout and the hero piece. I mean, what a statement with that cool gingham check. I'm going to come up closer. This is a relatively new coat in my closet and it's just, it's absolutely beautiful. I've never really seen anything like this and for me I just think this is a really nice way to add a bit of visual interest to your outfits without feeling like you've gone all out especially if you tend to focus on more minimal basics like I tend to do um, but yeah it's lovely and also I don't know if you can see that but the belt uh, is also double faced so it's got the gingham check one side and then it is the uh, taupe brown on the other side and um, then the bag that I am wearing is this lovely little shoulder bag with the turn lock um, black again because i really as i said i wanted to make the coat the focus for this look for outfit number two i've decided to pair a couple of my favorite uh, cold weather wardrobe staples so if you have been following for a while you will absolutely recognize this knit because i've had it for years now and it's just one that i think is so classic and you can pull out every season without fail the trousers, I mean, these are brilliant. They're a really affordable purchase, but just anything like this that has a bit of a crop length to it is something that I really like and has a huge place in my own wardrobe. And then I've opted for a really, really super chunky loafer. Now, if it was really cold, I'd probably put on a little stocking or a sock or something like that in the same color as the loafers to um, slip up my legs, but I live in Sydney and our winters are really mild so you generally can bear your ankles like that and then of course we also need a coat so I've done a little bit of a matching moment with the coat and the trousers they're both a charcoal gray um, this coat I love because it is super oversized and uh, it does have a belt but I prefer to wear it without um, but it's really lovely and soft and warm it's a wool cashmere blend and then of course my little uh, mini masubi as well to add in a little bit of warmth because it is a pretty monochromatic outfit otherwise so we've gone a little bit monochrome again for my third outfit and i'm wearing two recent favorite additions to my closet so i absolutely had to share them with you um this knit i actually also have in the gray i really love the subtle diamond stitch across the front and i size up to a medium which i personally really love the fit of and then the jeans i mean 
They are brilliant. These are the Eveline, the new cheeky straights with the elastane in them, which I love because they're so comfortable. I wear the ankle length um, and I'm wearing the Ecru color. I will actually show you after this what they look like compared to the uh, bone colored uh, 90s cheeky, which is the same color as the original, um, just because it is a very different color. This is um, a warmer color, whereas the bone cheekies are more of a cooler icier white then of course a little two-tone pump um, again if you lived in a colder climate then you could easily just pair these with a tan leather boot something that comes up the leg slightly with a fitted shaft around the ankle um, but yeah as I said I live in Sydney so I could easily wear this and be very very happy oh and also I think it looks really cute with this little scarf just lazily thrown around my neck um, just to add in some extra texture this has a bit of a waffle knit to it which is really lovely then I wanted to pair it with one of my favorite coats which really really works with the color scheme especially when going with a tonal outfit I really love winter whites because I think they're fresh and really uplifting especially when it is a very gloomy day um, and this one does have that slightly darker uh, wool on the interior and it has the belt. I tend to wear mine uh, loose and then the bag I've gone for is just this cute little um, shoulder bag which has this curved detail to it in kind of a peachy beige. So that is full outfit number three. Almost forgot to show you the color difference. So on the left here, I've got the Ecru New Cheeky Straight with the stretch. And then on the right, I have the, um, these are the 90s Cheeky, but it's in the bone, which is the same color that they did the original Cheeky style in. So you can see a real difference here in terms of the color and wash. Every single time I wear stripes, I always feel ever so slightly Parisian. Um, this one here I've had for, I want to say probably about a year now. Um, it's a cotton acrylic mix, but it's really soft and I love the oversized fit like through the sleeves and also through the body um, and the very kind of wide and then thinner stripes. The jeans that I'm wearing, these are the exact same ones that I wore at the start of the video, but in a different color. And you can see they're actually a bit more cropped. I didn't actually cut them or anything. That's just how they came. There is a slight difference uh, in length depending on the color. And then I've gone with a loafer. Again, you could just put on some socks or you could switch these out for a boot. I think a low heeled boot would look really, really cute with this actually, but I'm just going for comfort. <laughs> so of course, naturally, I wanted to complete this outfit with a trench. This one is a lighter trench coat and one I would say is more suited for the transitional season than for high winter. But if you live somewhere like I do with a mild climate, then you'll be okay if you've got heavy knitwear on underneath. Um, I really like the fact that this is a bit more of a Mac. It has this gorgeous mustard interior. And then if you come up close, it's all about the details. It has this pin tuck pleating or gathering, should I say, around the collar. Really nice. Um, contrast buttons and then also the balloon sleeves and then the bag is an oldie but a goodie this is the studio bag um, which I've had for a while uh, a really great dupe for the so angle bag from Celine if you've been looking at that one but it's way out of your budget this dress here is one of my more recent purchases and I really wanted to share it in this video because I think it is a beautiful year-round piece so I wanted to show how I would style it up for the colder months um, now if it was especially cold I would also be wearing tights and I probably wear an ankle boot or a boot that comes sort of midway up the calf that is quite slim fitting with a low heel or with more of a stiletto heel so let me show you the dress up close. It's this beautiful sort of desaturated navy tartan, which I love. Full dress and then it has a little tie at the back with adjustable straps. And I actually bought this because I thought it was a really nice dupe or alternative for the Cecily Banson dresses. I wanted the back dress but just champagne taste on a beer budget I think <laughs> this one really caught my eye and I think it's because of the print also love that it has pockets so practical so all I've done really to make it more winter appropriate is paired a really lovely thin um, or featherweight kind of merino uh, long sleeved turtleneck underneath you could also just do a crew neck if you don't like um, a turtleneck but when you've got your hair up I actually think that looks really nice so that is it. I also have on some little ballerinas. Um, I would probably just pair this with, hang on, 
this little number here, which I love the shape of. You can't have it standing on a table, just FYI. I have been asked that question, but I love the chain strap because it's almost like jewelry, um, an additional little bit of jewelry. So that would be what how I would style it, uh, particularly if I was going to an event or something like that and I wanted to feel a bit more dressed up. So it was so much fun just have a little play around in my closet and put together five different cold weather outfits. I hope that you enjoyed this video and if you are in the Northern Hemisphere that you got some outfit inspiration from it, I would love to know which of the five outfits was your favorite. Um, definitely very heavy on the denim and for me uh, it's really just been a realization that uh, it's a huge part of my style uniform. It's really practical for my current situation, my current lifestyle uh, and I just love jeans so why not but obviously you can easily switch those out for a tailored trouser as well they're just a little bit more high maintenance in my opinion um, and yeah I did also wear my hair back which I think is a really nice way to wear your hair in the cold months um, particularly if you are wearing a lot of sort of roll necks or anything that is very chunky around your neckline or the collar uh, because it really helps to create a bit of balance in your outfit but I'm going to wrap things up here. Thank you for watching. Thank you for spending some of your day with me. And I will see you next time with a brand new video. See you soon. Bye.